Software Spring Presence How to use DDB in Google Sheets Hello folks! Greetings! Welcome to the tutorial on the DDB function. Let's begin with an introduction to DDB. DDB stands for Double Declining Balance, and is the method this function uses, to calculate the depreciation of an asset. DDB returns the depreciation amount for the specified period. DDB calculates the depreciation amount at an accelerated rate. For this reason, this method is also known as, Accelerated Depreciation. The annual rate of depreciation equals, twice the regular rate of depreciation. Alright, let's look at the format of the DDB function. Here's an example. Cost is the cost of the asset. Salvage is the value of the asset, at the end of the last year of its useful life. Life is the number of periods, over which the asset depreciates. Period is a period within the number of periods, for which you want to calculate the depreciation. Factor is optional, and is the multiple by which the depreciation decreases. The default value is 2. You can change the default factor to change the rate of depreciation. Going forward, here is an objective for using the DDB function. To calculate the depreciation amount of a camera, whose cost is rupees 50,000, salvage value rupees 10,000, and useful life 5 years. Alright, let's create the data table. Let's create another table, to calculate the depreciation, and value of the camera. Ok, we are all set to type the DDB function formula in this cell. First, type equal to, D, D, B. Select DDB from the menu. For cost, click this cell. Type comma. For salvage, click this cell. Type comma. For life. Click this cell. Type comma. And, lastly, for period, click this cell. Press enter. There you go. The DDB function has returned the depreciation amount at the end of year 1. Alright, the next step is to copy this formula down these cells. However, first we have to lock the addresses in this formula. Why? because we do not want the addresses to change, as we copy the formula. Click this cell. Select the addresses. Press F4. OK, let's copy the formula down these cells. We are now ready to find the value of the camera, at the end of each year of its life period. Let's input the cost of the asset here, by typing equal to, clicking this cell, and pressing enter. In this cell, subtract this amount, from this amount, and press enter. Copy the formula down these cells. This is the salvage value of the camera, at the end of the year of its useful life. To remove the dollar symbol, highlight this range. Click this down arrow. Click number. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.